All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Brian Yoda, and today we're covering Hell Divers Two. That's right, Hell Divers Two. First time on the channel. Let's get straight into it. So, recently, a player or Reddit user has data mined Hell Divers Two. Now, you may be wondering what is data mining and blah blah blah. They basically go into the uh, the game files and get all this information that's in the folders. It's pretty pretty, pretty much in the name data mine. They just mine the data, see what they can find. And leak it pretty much. So I found this article on the internet and it's titled Hell Divers 2 Data Mine Leak Unearths New Illuminate Enemies and Stratagems. For those who are wondering and haven't played the first Hell Divers like me, the Illuminate enemies were apparently in the first game as well. So people have now found out that they are potentially going to be released in the future for Hell Divers 2. Despite rumors and several teasers from developers, there's no concrete information on what Hell Divers 2's future content rollouts will actually entail. One such rumour claims the Illuminate faction from the first game will return. This is what we were just talking about. Uh, meanwhile, there's been new teasers from Helldivers 2 game director Johan Pelested. I can't. I don't know if I've said that name right. I do apologise if I've butchered it. Uh, but point to the potential addition of extra customization options and stealth-based mechanics. Now, depending on the type of player you are, you you could be excited for this news or, you know, you just wouldn't care. But for me personally, given how chaotic Helldivers is, and for those who have played it know what I mean, my God, is it chaotic. You just don't know what's going on. But if they introduce some stealth-based mechanics, I am really curious to see how that would play out in a game like this. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And of course, I personally, I'm sure we all do, love a bit of character customization. Anyway, moving on to the main part of this whole video. Thanks to one player's recent uh, data mining efforts, more information about what developer Arrowhead has planned may have just surfaced. After digging through the game files for Helldivers 2, user Stordal shared their findings on gaming leaks and rumours subreddit. Notably, the long-rumoured Illumina faction garners mentioned in the leak. Now, according to the data miner, the files reveal the following as Illuminate enemy types, Adept, Ghoul, Illusionist, Obelisk Fire, Outcast, Pathfinder, and Summoner. The Adept enemy types can call for allies, Ghoul and Illusionist enemy types can fire projectiles and force choke victims. Now, for the others, we don't have uh, that much information. This is all we have right now for the enemy types. The data mine further reveals several unused stratagems, including a nuke, mini missiles, and a medic backpack. Reportedly, the Helldivers 2 data mine even features files named Drop Off Combat Walker. As Redditors noted in the comments, Pillistead previously confirmed Combat Walker as the codename for mechs expected to launch in the future update. Now, of course, we, we already know about the enemy types, so the redditor also found a lot of files under stratagem so let's go read through some of these drop off combat walker drop off combat walker president reward raise flag bug thumper medic backpack displacement backpack drop off cargo container health pack rack health pack rack president reward shoulder mounted camera jammed pinata mini missiles drop off lav drop off lav president reward cover drop off frv bio sterilizer ship bowling and finally nuke apart from the mechs and the suspected illuminate fraction addition there's nothing to suggest that any of the above will actually see the light of day in hell divers 2. now moving on from that topic we have one more thing to talk about and that is hell divers 2 super credits bug on ps5 and pc is getting squashed real soon, says Arrowhead. After mass player reports of super credits going missing in-game, Arrowhead Game Studios is working on an update that should fix the problem. The life of a Helldiver is to be plagued by bugs and robots, of course, and the game has it has had its fair share since launch. Last week's big bad was the PS5 login bug caused by the Helldivers 2 patch that rolled out to kick AFK players. An earlier update that same week saw Arrowhead address the failed to join Lobby error with a matchmaking fix. The Helldivers 2 patch at the tail end of the week further ironed out matchmaking wrinkles by increasing the server cap to make wait time more bearable. In this week's bug attack, players are seeing their super credits in Helldivers 2 disappear. And given that this premium in game currency can be bought with real life money as well as grinding, players have been balking at the discoveries that they appear to have lost them 
all. There are a number of posts over the game subreddit sharing instances of super credits disappearing. Now there are a lot of these posts but in a nutshell players are seeing their super credits disappear after logging out and rebooting the game. Bearing in mind that since people have been dropping 10 or 20 dollars on them at a time they're rightfully pissed to see a big fat zero glaring back at them when logging back into the game. Now Arrowhead did acknowledge this issue on the game's official discord server. Arrowhead basically said we have discovered the likely cause for some players not being able to access their super credits after purchasing and then rebooting the game. Your credits are there but due to filtering issues in our system they are not displaying correctly. Those affected include players purchasing super credits on PlayStation Network, players purchasing the Steel Veterans Warbond with super credits on both PS5 and PC. We are working on a patch to solve this issue and we will update you when the fix is live. Thank you for your patience, Misty. So whether you've splashed out IRL cash on Helldivers 2 super credits or earned them through honest to goodness grinding, you haven't lost them all. I appreciate that's not very helpful for those of you wanting to use the super credits to buy something in game right now. But the turnaround for Arrowhead fixing bugs once it's updated to the community is pretty speedy. And oh my gosh guys, Arrowhead are so quick. Right, the article we were just talking about, it's been updated and it says the Helldivers 2 super credits bug has been fixed. So you can go back to frittering your money away on the premium in-game currency if that tickles your fancy. Of course, you can grind for it as well if you'd rather not splash out. Either way, seeing your currency count drop to zero after logging back into the game is a thing of the past and your missing super credits should be back in your space bank account. Now all you need to do to make sure the fix has taken action is to just restart your game. That's all it is and you should have your super credits back into your account. Right, and now I can officially say that was that's all from me guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do leave a like and subscribe. Have a good one.